Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a reading for the waning moon period, which is from uh, February 15th until the 23rd, right before we have the new moon on the 24th in Pisces. So I would, uh, I'm just going to ask that while I'm doing this reading, you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you guys for joining me on this journey. Now, just a little background information about this waning moon period. We've just gone through sort of that climax of the of the full moon, all of the anticipation, and it's a little bit of a period of deflation, a time to really pull back from the busyness of life, do some shadow work, do the internal work, take a look at what works for you, what doesn't, and what needs to be wrapped up for you. Naturally, our energy levels are a little bit lower at this time as we're preparing for this potent new moon and the new moon energy so what I'd like um, so yeah so what I'd like you guys to do is don't be too hard on yourselves but do an internal reflection at this time and just try to wrap up old projects and also start thinking about what it is you want what it is you need what it is you're going to try to manifest with the new moon period okay so without further ado Taurus let's go ahead and get into this reading we're going to ask angels ancestors loved ones who have passed and spirit guides what messages do you have for Taurus sun moon rising and Venus signs what messages do you have for Taurus sun moon rising and Venus signs messages for Taurus sun moon rising and Venus signs Okay, we are ready. Okay. All right, Taurus, Page of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Taurus, your overall energy for this reading is the Hermit card. This is Virgo. Um, this is more Earth energy. The Hermit is all about someone who does some does the internal work, um, has maybe been isolated. It's the number nine, which is the, which is a number of you know nine. We think of nine months as the human gestation period. It can also represent you know a fantastic artist who needs to sort of separate himself from the world to create his masterpiece. So however long he's been you know locked up in a room or up in a tower in a bell tower and painting and sculpting and creating some absolutely marvelous beautiful things again I mentioned the human gestation period because it's nine months so there's a real sense of patience there's a sense of growing and oftentimes you know there's all of this inner work that's done at this time the hermit can represent a teacher it can represent a leader here we have the hermit who's you know he's laying in his coffin and he's shining the light someone who's been doing a lot of studying someone who's maybe been consulting readings and books and i'm getting like ancient knowledge somebody who's been preparing themselves and with this in the reverse it's telling me you know this is going to be the period you know or right before where it's time for you to come out of that hermit mode and show yourself or apply the knowledge and the understanding that you have gained during this period. And I'm getting more than anything, it's for this new moon that's coming up in Pisces. So Taurus, you guys are presenting yourselves as the Page of Wands, which is fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sag, you might have that in your chart or you just might be exhibiting these qualities. And the Page of Wands is somebody who's very artistic, somebody who's very excited about his creations and about being able to express express himself creatively. So I am getting, you know, fashion designers, I'm getting musicians, I'm getting artists. Um, and I, it's interesting because that's what I was channeling and feeling from this hermit card, you know, when an artist really, you know, oftentimes artists stay up late until the wee hours of the morning or they're writing or they're painting. And I really get that you're in this vibe right now. You're getting that creative flow. And the, and the fire signs are all about creativity. You know, sometimes they get a 
bad rap for being impulsive, um, for coming in and out whenever they want, not planning enough. But here I'm really seeing somebody who is very happily creating something and using their inner creativity and their gifts with writing, music, art, whatever it might be. And they're getting ready to show them to the world. And they're going to um, make that a big part of this new moon cycle that's coming up. Now, um, what's holding you back or what might be blocking you here is the star card. This is Aquarius energy. Now, it could be another person, but more than anything, this in reverse is telling me, Taurus, that there is some sort of healing and there is some sort of... Um, rejuvenation and rest that you need. So you might not be getting enough rest. Um, now, obviously, I'm not a psychologist, so I'm not, re I'm not making any, you know, I don't have any medical background. And please don't take this the wrong way. But you know, when we're channeling, whether you're channeling intuitive gifts or your creative energy, oftentimes, it's like it can be described as a manic state. And I feel like some of you might be working yourselves up into exhaustion. And the star card is telling me, okay, so this is, you know, you need to rest, you need to rejuvenate your energy. And there's definitely some something here that needs to be healed. Also, if you've encountered any sort of block in that energy, in your energy in general, in your creative expressions, then it's time to really quiet yourself, find, you know, rest and try to listen. Okay. Try to listen to your body, listen to spirit, your angels, your spirit guides, and your higher self, because this star represents your own inner guidance and what it is that you need. Okay. In order to move past any blocks or whatever it is that's holding you back. Now, what you have to accept or what can't be changed is temperance. This is Sagittarius energy and temperance and the star together are telling me that some sort of behavior, some sort of excess has you feeling drained. Now, temperance can speak to overeating, over drinking, over analyzing, um, over social media, but doing something that's a little bit too much here. Now, it could be in that creative while you're channeling, channeling and in this creative energy that, you know, you need to sort of rein that in because maybe you haven't been eating enough. Maybe you haven't been drinking enough water. Maybe you haven't been getting enough sleep because you're just so energized. But Spirit is saying it's absolutely necessary that you do find some sort of balance. The Temperance card is also all about, you know, your spirit guides and your angels. So if you're running into a block or something, that it is a great time to set your intentions, speak them out loud. If you guys pray, whatever it is, or meditate, whatever it is that you do to be in touch. Your spirit guides are all around you with these cards um, and they're here to help you and guide you when you need it. And that's something that's always available to you. Okay, but the need for balance and also the need for patience because the page of wands can be a bit impatient as well. This is what I've done. I want it to be successful. I want it, you know, maybe it's something that you're putting out onto YouTube and you want it to get a lot of views. Um, you want it to go viral. Understand that, you know, sometimes, yes, you get all these hits and, you know, we're not exactly sure why, but other times it's going to take some patience and planning. Okay. Um, what you need to let go of, here we go. We have the Ace of Cups, Taurus, Virgo, Cap, I'm sorry, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Now, Pisces energy, uh, I don't know why I just said that. This Ace of Cups here is all about, it's a huge blessing, but Taurus, I am seeing that you're drained emotionally and physically. Maybe all of your resources as well have gone into this creative project or into whatever it is that you're channeling right now. Okay, and now some of you may have just wanted to get away from it all. And, you know, you tapped into your savings to do that. Some of you might have taken a trip or some of you just might be sort of hiding out and calling out of work and that sort of thing. And spirit saying, okay, it's time to let go of that. You really need to start channeling your energy back into yourself so that you can rejuvenate yourself, so you can heal yourself. Okay, give yourself time. Now, what you're hoping to gain here, we have the tower. Now, the tower card is all about transformation. It's all about taking down negative thought patterns, behaviors, um, relationships that are toxic, and things that no longer work for you. But this is in the reverse. So I feel like, Taurus, you guys feel that you have made a mess of a certain situation, that you let your creative energy or your channeling maybe isolate you guys a little bit. And in the coffin, 
it, you know, some be, you might feel like some relationships are dead or you've ignored um, or neglected work or projects or something like that. Spirit is saying not all is lost. And the tower in reverse is that you will be able to sort of clean up after any mess that you've made. Now, I'm not saying that you necessarily have made a mess, but if your channeling and creative processes have affected your health, which I'm seeing that they may have, okay, then, um, you know, then this is saying, okay, that what's going to come of this is you're going to get back into balance, you're going to start eating right, drinking enough water, getting enough sleep that you're going to sort of do that inner work and see, okay, I can't do this all the time, you know, or I won't be able to, you know, I won't be able to sustain myself, okay, or my creative endeavors. So I will have to pull back and take care of myself emotionally and physically. And Taurus, that's an absolutely beautiful message for you. So I do, you know, the need for self-care is very important in this reading, Taurus. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull an advice card for you guys. So spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, and spirit guides, what advice do you have for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs? All right, here you have sensuality. Express your sensuality. What I love about this, you guys, is I'm really seeing here, I'm seeing this temperance card. The temperance card is almost always accompanied by a rainbow, which she doesn't have here. Okay, but this is all about expressing yourself. And I think you have, I think whatever you've been working on has been an expression of your sensuality. Now, as you guys know, we're also moving into Valentine's Day on Friday on the 14th. And so this is a time to do that. Okay, it's a time to reach out, especially if you guys have been neglecting your partners or your love interests or your friends or whatever it might be. Now is the time to express that. But I also see this in an, in, in an artistic, endeavor this is you sharing look she has this cup here and cups are about emotions right and it's an ace of cups and there's a butterfly so it's all about this transformation there's a lot of fertility here as well with this green and with these flowers okay and in this forest we also have the image of Sagittarius there with a centaur so some of you might be dealing with the Sagittarius and then we also have this horned one so you might also have Capricorn in your chart or be dealing with Capricorn but this is also sending me this image of Pan, right? And which is the devil card, which is also, again, remember there might be some toxic behavior patterns. You might, you might have been using substances during this time while you're channeling. Maybe you guys have been drinking or maybe you've just been engaging in something that hasn't been quite healthy. Okay. So it is a great time to express your, your sensuality, but also make sure that that's within a healthy space. And that's not something Thing that you've been doing to excess that's been taking you out of balance and health okay so now I'm going to pull some archetype cards I don't use these cards very often because for myself I find that they're a bit triggering and immediately you get the god card wow Okay, but I mean, I, when I say that, they're not negative energy. So they have light and dark attributes on each card. So I want you to listen to the light and dark attributes and see if that resonates with you. Does that trigger anything within you that needs to be worked on at this period since this waning moon period is the perfect time for you to do the shadow work, okay? That's necessary for you to, you know, manifest or start off this new moon period in a healthy and balanced space. Okay, so you have God and you have Don Juan. <laughs> Taurus, some of you guys have been really, really expressing your sensual side. So this doesn't surprise me at all. I also really love how in these readings, this brown color is really touching the brown on the top of the star. And this black is really, really calling in the color of these angel wings. So we have to take that as, you know, synchronicity. I'm a very visual person. Um, so I just love this, uh, these messages that I'm downloading here these intuitive hits I'm getting from these cards and how it's working with the whole reading. The light attributes, benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others, and the shadow attributes, 
despotism and cruelty using power to control people. So Taurus, you know, this card is asking you, you know, are you being compassionate and benevolent? Okay. Or do you have a God complex? Do you feel like you are, you know, the, all, the be all end all has somebody or has a lot of attention, especially in the realms of sexuality and intimacy have and making you feel like you can do anything like you're God, like you're master. Now I'm not accusing you. I'm just asking if it doesn't resonate, it's not your message. Okay. And then here we have the Don Juan card, the light attribute spotlights, your positive seductive qualities, the shadow attribute using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. All right. So again, with the sensuality card here, there is a real need to find some balance. Some of you might be trying to heal a void, um, through intimacy or through, you know, different sexual partners. And that's something that you have to look into. Some of you might be saying, well, I'm an artist. This is my creative expression. I'm free to do whatever I want, which is absolutely true. Remember, we all have free will, but make sure that you're not hurting others and make sure that you're not hurting yourself in this process. Okay. But I love this, you know, especially around Valentine's day, there's all of this sensual energy here for you, Taurus, you know, and we see that with the ace, you know, the not the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, right? That's a spark of passion, that's sexuality, sensuality. But the Page of Wands, you know, this is somebody who's exploring that, somebody who's expressing that. Okay, and they're not really concerned. They're just, they're, they're doing it. But it, the a spirit here is asking you to really look at why. What's the why behind your behavior? And if it's healthy and good, that's excellent. But if it's not, take a look and see how you can, you know, how you can change that or heal that. Now we have Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detours. Yeah, so remember you guys are on a, on a path to happiness. If you feel like something has been thwarted or obstacles or, you know, you've been detoured, maybe you were working on a lot of, you know, you were working on your creative expression and you got sort of caught up in sensual matters or romance. And if it works out or if it doesn't work out, remember that these are divine detours, lessons that you were meant to learn along the way. And 47, use your mind wisely. All right, 47. So this is my pig with wings. I love this card. Um, so it is telling you, you know, for some of you I am getting, there is going to be a lot of intimate and sensual and sexual activity. So it's really important that you're using your mind, that you're not letting just your body take over or your desires. Because I keep coming back to Pan here in that message, you know, so make sure that, you know, obviously I know that you guys don't need to hear this, but that you're using protection, that you're protecting yourself and your partners and that's physically and emotionally. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to pull um, an additional message for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. <clears throat> Final message for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Karmic completion. Here we have a number 10. Some of you guys might be dealing with a karmic completion. The end of a relationship that you thought or was with a soulmate or somebody that you are very energetically and spiritually connected to. And as a result, you might be, you know, we have different ways of dealing with that. Okay, so when we experience, you know, this heartache and, you know, karmic completions are very difficult. Some people go inward, like we have with this hermit, and that may be what you have done or you're about to do. Others go outward, yeah, and we just sort of, we, we want to... We want to stop the pain. If we've been left or we've left someone, we want to fill that void. And for some of my Taurus out there, you guys have definitely been filling that void. <laughs> okay, on multiple levels, excuse my horrible pun, but you know, you've definitely been filling that void and that could be with other partners. Um, and again, I do see this devil activity not by any means am I saying you're sinning or anything like that, but it could be like over drinking. It could be drug abuse. It could be overeating. It's something that's becoming slightly toxic because you're not recognizing the root of the issue here. So make sure that you do that self-analysis and just do a little check-in, see where you guys can bring balance and healing back into your life. Not to say that you necessarily have to, you know, you can't enjoy life's pleasures and especially the sensual pleasure pleasures during Valentine's Day 
okay, this is what it's all about. It's about love and it's about romance, but do make sure that you're taking care of yourselves, my dear Taurus. All right, so I'm going to leave it there for you. I hope you enjoyed this message. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you guys for listening. I love you and I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day.